اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد So what happens is this all these things are there what is the number one asset in jannah that makes it appealing that makes it great that makes it amazing you know when allah and allah he is now selling jannah to you and he writes a listing in the quran he writes a listing in the quran and you know of all the things in jannah you know what he highlights here he highlights just one thing right Khalidin. Enter it forever. Understand that. It is forever. There is no ending. This is a life that has no ending. This is a life that is forever. There's no downfall, there's no going away, there's no erasing, there's no evaporating, nothing. This is forever. I want you to just imagine it. Just imagine it, my friends. What is forever? You know what is forever? I mean, really, infinity. You can go on living forever. Now when you look at eternal life, Allah is saying this is the number one characteristic of Akhirat is that it is forever. In this world you're always afraid of dying, finishing, finish, it's over. Allah is saying no it's not, it is forever. What is forever? Jannah is forever? No. Not Jannah, your life is forever. Tell me, when we are asked the question, how long do you think you're going to live for? Really, ask anyone on the street, how long do you think you're going to live for? 90 years, 100 years, whatever. 1,000 years. years, very good, 1,000 years, whatever, listen, you know. My friend, listen, this is where we make the mistake of life. We made a huge mistake thinking that we are going to live for 90 years or 100 years. And we messed up our life because of that. You are going to live forever. Forever. There is no ending to this life. You think Allah gave you this life that it's going to end now? Finish? No, it's not. What do you think Allah gave you this life for? That He's going to take it back from you? This is the same life that you will be living there. Same life. It's not a place of reward. That is where you're going to live. This was a restricted, limited sample. Allah showed you. And quite disgusting. That is where everything is going to be. That's forever. And your life is forever. Now... How can I explain it? You know, let me just tell you something, right? And then, inshallah, you will understand what I'm saying by this. And I want you to think because your whole life is going to change now. If you can grasp what I'm saying. Your whole life is going to change. Tell me, you know, someone goes to a doctor. I go to a doctor, right? So I went to the doctor and, you know, I think I'm healthy. I think I'm doing well. Uh, even though, you know, I was uh, cheating on the desserts, but I went to the doctor to get a checkup, you know, and you know what? 
doctor comes out with a miserable face after seeing my results and he looks at me like all scared and he makes me scared. What the heck is the matter with you, man? You're a doctor. I don't like to see your face like that. What is the problem? He says, I have some bad news for you. What bad news do you have for me? He says, listen, you are going to die within a year. You are going to die within a year. Your cancer, it's there, and you can't stop it. And you're going to die. Now, this news is shocking for everyone who hears it. You know, even though it shouldn't be, but it still is. So now, if you hear such a news that you're going to die within a year, tell me, now that you go back home and you grasp the idea that I only have one more year to live, now when you are start to live the next day or the next week and make a plan for yourself, are you going to have the same priorities in living your life like you did before you had this knowledge? You're thinking you're going to live till 80, 90 years old. And based on that, you made a plan of life. And you were living your life based on the fact that it's 80, 90 years old. I have all these things to do. The so first education, then job, then, you know, uh, settling down, getting a house, getting married, having children, having grandchildren, getting heart attacks, you know, and all that. You go forward with that. And then what happens at the end? You know, you die. So you had all this plan. Now you have the news uh, certain news that you're going to die in one year. Tell me, do you have the same plans now? So my friends, you plan your life based on how long you think it's going to be for. Isn't that the case? Aren't you planning your life based on how long you think your life is for? So until now, your plan was based on the fact that you're going to live for, I don't know, 80, 90 years. That was your plan. Was it different? Now that you found out that you're going to live forever. Allah says that you're going to live forever. What, you think you're going to finish? It's, going to, it's all done? No, it's not. You're going to live forever. So when you are going to live forever, tell me, is your plan going to remain the same? My friends, really, we have heard about Akhirat. We don't believe in it. Otherwise, our life will be like that. I am alive forever. What am I in a hurry for? What am I in a hurry for? When you look at how long you're going to live, then your whole perspective has changed. You know, we have hadith from Imam Baqir alayhi salam. Oh. she says that you live in this world as if you're going to live here forever. When you are going to live here forever, are you in a hurry? No. Thank you. That's the right answer, though. It is that. No, you're not. You're not in a hurry. At all. Anything. I have to get this done. It's so important. It's not. Why? Oh, wow. I don't know why. Because you think it's going to finish? No, it's not. We have going to live forever. Can you believe in that? Can you make yourself believe in that? Allah is saying, can you make yourself believe that you're going to live forever? Allah, I mean really, most of us don't want to. No Allah, this is it. I want 80, 90 years and that's it for me. And I'll plan all my life, 80, 90 years, right here. All the way till retirement. Retirement? You know, it's perspective. 
you know, perspective. I, I can give many examples, but I'm going to give like an example right now. For example, I remember when I was going to the house to study. I was young. And I was going to the house to study. My relatives were really upset. Because, you know what, you know, I mean, you expect that the kids in the family are going to become doctors and engineers. They did not expect that someone's going to become a Molvi. You know? And they were all upset. They were like calling me up and said, are you crazy? Are you going to destroy your life? Going here, this and that, you know? And, you know, I mean, really, I, I was like looking at people and, you know, all my aunts were calling me, you know? My aunties were calling me, you know? Are you crazy? You're going to a house and you're going to ruin your life and all these things, you know? Now, I know what they're afraid of, but it's okay. So now what happened is that I was like, you know, I mean, yes, but I like to do that. I want to do it. I want to study and all these things. But you should look. You should uh, look at your future. You're going to destroy your future. Uh, you should be looking at your future. I said, I am looking at my future. He said, what future? Are you going to destroy it? No, I'm looking at my future. Maybe you aren't looking at my future. I am looking at my future that I'll be in the grave. And I'll be raised from the grave. What future are you looking at? What future are you looking at? Which future are we talking about? The time I'm 60, 70 years old? Come on. Really? Is that that important for me that I have to live all my life for my last 20 years? That is a pathetic way of living a life. It's miserable. You know, and if that is life, you know, really, as an intelligent person, I don't want it. If that is life, intelligence, our own reasoning rejects such a life. I don't want such a life that this is going to be miserable like this and end miserable. Then what kind of a creator is this who created this life for me like this? Reason rejects it. And hence imagination is what makes life really understandable. It is forever. And that's what we're going to talk about more as we go forward. The first characteristic I'm mentioning. And I'll explain it in, you know, in detail so that we can really go through it and understand it very well. Because this is what actually changes our life. Perspective. Knowing that this is forever. So I'll end the speech here. Allahumma salli ala